What's going on guys? It's your boy the GCC. Here are some clone sets that LEGO needs to make. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead, give it a thumbs up. Now let's get into our first set. Alright guys, the first set that we're going to be talking about today is the Betrayal Above Braca hallway scene, which I think is an awesome set. Obviously, this was featured in the Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order video game, I think which released back in 2019. Now, it's crazy to think how old this game is, but I love this Order 66 scene. Obviously, you would get Jero to Paul, as you guys can see on the left, Padawan Cal Kestis, as you guys can see in the middle, and it looks like you would get two 13th Battalion clone troopers, which is awesome, and we've never had them before. For. The hallway itself looks really clean. Obviously, this was featured on a Venator class Star Destroyer, and you would have some function so you could throw your minifigures up in the air. But I do not think the sliding door would actually slide, unfortunately, but I wish it would have maybe some function so the panels can come down on the side or something like that. It'd be a great way to get those exclusive Jedi minifigures we've never had before. And of course, some more Phase 2 clone troopers. I always need some more Phase 2 clone troopers, so I'll take anything that we get. I definitely could see this set going for $20 or $30 probably closer to that $30 range just because that's where Lego likes to put it. But I think this is an awesome set. Now let's move on to our next set. All right, guys, the next set that we're going to be talking about today is a brand new ATOT Walker. I absolutely love this set, and I'm really surprised LEGO has not remade this set yet. Obviously, you would get some 327th clone troopers that we've never had before, and also bringing back those B2 Super Battle Droids. As you guys can see, you can get a clear picture of the 327th Star Core troopers. I love it. Obviously, you would get Commander Bly, and then three other troopers, which I think is a very nice selection to include, and it looks like two. B2 Super Battle Droids. Um, of course, the ATOT itself looks really nice. You could hold a lot of clone troopers in there. It would be a great display piece, or if you wanted to include it in a mock, it would also look great there as well. And I really think LEGO needs to make this. I definitely could see this set going for around that $120 to $150 price range, just because LEGO really is bumping up the prices nowadays. And of course, a great selection of minifigures. You know LEGO is going to get us on that. But of course, you can see the interior of the ATOT, and I'm really pleased with this set. I wish LEGO were to make it. Obviously, the last ATOT I think we got was in 2008 or 2009, so it's definitely been a long time, and I definitely think we need a remake of this very soon, so I'm hoping LEGO does that. Now, let's move on to our next set. All right, guys, you know what time it is. It is meme set time, and today on the left, we have Grand Moff Tarkin, and then on the right, we have Grand Buff Tarkin. <laughs> This is a great minifigure. I absolutely love Grand Moff Tarkin as a character in Star Wars. I just love big old buff Tarkin. It's just amazing to see him in that hawk body, but obviously just with his imperial uh, clothes on. It's just awesome to see this. I definitely think Lego should maybe do this for the May 4th promo or slap him in an exclusive set. As you guys can see, we have Grand Moff Tarkin plus the barbell equals Grand Buff Tarkin, and I think that's hilarious, and I really really hope Lego makes this. Now let's move on to our next set. All right, lads, the next set that we're going to be talking about today is the landing on Anaxis. Obviously, this was featured in season seven of the Clone Wars, and obviously, it's a Republic gunship that we have not seen since 2013 or 2014. I absolutely love this set. I definitely could see Lego putting this at that $120 to $150 range. Obviously, you get a great selection of minifigures being Mace Windu, Arc Trooper Jesse, a couple 187th Troopers, and it looks like a couple of B1 battle droids. I would love to see maybe a couple of B2 super battle droids or maybe a crab droid that we never received in the ATTE, but that's not the point. I love this set. I really hope LEGO makes it. Obviously, you would have some interior space in the Republic gunship so you could fit all your clone troopers and Jedi in there. I would love to maybe see a phase two clone pilot also. I think that would be super cool, and I don't think we've had a phase two clone pilot in a while, so that'd be a nice addition. The 187th troopers look fantastic, and of course, that ARC trooper Jesse. I'm really surprised Lego has not made that yet, but if we ever get a Captain Rex's Y-Wing, I'm hoping Lego throws them in there, or if they ever make a Republic gunship based off the Clone Wars, throw them in there as well. I really need that in Lego form. I think this is an awesome set. Again, I hope Lego makes this in the future, but now let's move on to our final set. All right, guys, the final set that we're going to be talking about today is the Akalai attack. Obviously, the Akalai was featured in Attack of the Clones, which is awesome, and we've never actually had it in Lego form before. I 
think it was in one poly bag. I'm pretty sure. Correct me if I'm wrong. But it would be great to have that. Um, I definitely could see this set going for around $30 or $40. It doesn't look like you get a lot of minifigures, and the accolade doesn't look to be too big. Um, obviously, you would get Jedi Knight, Ala Secura, a B2 Super Battle Droid, and then a Phase 2 Clone Trooper. I'm not familiar with that Phase 2 Clone Trooper. So if you know the Legion, let me know down in the comment section below. But it would just be a great way to get that B2 Super Battle Droid, that Clone Trooper that we've never had before. And then, of course, Ayla Secure. Obviously, she came in the 2017 Republic Fighter Tank, so an updated version of her would be great. You know, I think it's something interesting and different that LEGO really doesn't do for Star Wars anymore. So I think it'd be pretty cool to get this Acolyte prominently featured in Attack of the Clones. I really hope LEGO ends up making this one day, but obviously, who knows? Congratulations, guys. You have made it to the end of the video. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. I had a fun time putting this video together, and I really think LEGO needs to make some of these awesome clone sets. Shout out to Brickset Ideas, Brick Wizard 59 and Star Wars Photoshop for making these awesome sets. I'll put a link to their Instagrams down in the description below. If you enjoyed the video or you're new to the channel, go ahead, hit that subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. You would help out the channel. And honestly, you would make my day. We make awesome content here. So I'd really appreciate that if you hit that subscribe button. Also give this video a thumbs up. Again, I'd really appreciate it. It'd greatly help out the channel. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one.